What's up guys? Toby, Five Old Bates. We are going to do two new little things today. One's a mold, and one's a colorant. This is by MF. When we organized the other day, I found some bags of stuff that I didn't know I had. Uh, this is called Scrambled Eggs. It looks orange. I've already just opened it up. Just took the little cap thing off, the little white thing that goes over the top. And shaking her up because I don't know how long it's been sitting. So shaking it up pretty good. It looks orange ish. It's probably why, but when all the stuff with MF started, I uh, jumped on to get my dark watermelon and stuff. You know, I sort of stocked up on that and the cutthroat. So, so if you didn't get none, it's probably my fault. <laughs> But it's all good. It's all good. Let's put something down here to keep us, uh, keep my hands a dip on. But anyway, that and the mold. I'm going to show you a bait from the mold real quick. I like little different stuff. And this could be a little Helgi, a little grub, a, uh, Oh, what's them, uh, what's the worms that, uh, Catalpa, like a little Catalpa worm. Uh, anyway, I'm going to use it for, uh, trout and panfish. So, we just have some clear plastic right here to try this color out. Oh, boy, I got it a blazing. Not blazing, but it's 373. That's a little warm. Yeah. Let's try this color. Get you down here with the mess. Uh, we're going to shoot this mold. Let me put some little things on it. That's a little mold uh, I got from Engraves. If you're wondering, I know a lot of people are like, he's not open. He's about, he had moved, and uh, not only after the move, I think he had to have a shop built. So anyway, he's back open and going. I ain't saying you have to buy or, you know, you know I like the baits for the price. So. Anyway, we're going to shoot that and the 2.4 inch stinger because, as we've said before, I love it. Alright, there's 10 drops. Let's see uh, what we got here. Whoa. That is not what I expected. Can y'all see that? And the bottle is orange. And here it is yellowish with some, looks like green highlight. And it's a cool yellow. Let me get some more in there. That was 10 drops. Let's go 10 more. That is crazy, man. I am loving this color. Oh, I'm, that's 20. Two, three, four. There's 30. Let's do 30. Because I got, what, a half cup, maybe? Between a half and three quarters of a plastic. That is a freaking badass color. This just made my day because this stuff right here, this. If you make baits and you've tried the disco violet, whatever, when it works, it's great. But that stuff, is it had me a while ago. I had to walk off. I think I'm an experienced bait mate. I'm going to put five more drops of this, dude, and show y'all. That is just a awesome freaking color, dude. For a trailer. I got two molds set out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour it in something bigger so y'all see this color a little better. Holy cow, man. Look at that yellow, but it's got a green highlight, and the yellow almost has like an orange tint to it. That is bad. That's badass. I like that. It may not help, but I don't forgot what count we're on. Let's put. 
There's 10 more drops. What is that, 40, I think, now? If you're familiar with MF anyway, you usually can't go too thick with MF. There's still going to be a translucent looking cup. That is a bad, wow. Who would, that's probably why I never shot it because of that orange and I've got some good orange colors, but that is, uh, oh my God, that is freaking, I love this color. What are we on here? That's a little cool. Let's warm it back up because I'm going to shoot. I'm going to pick up another color. I mean, another mold. Uh, what we got out here? We got a swim bag. Let's do the tracer. Or should I do the, uh... yeah, break it. Let's do the tracer. So I'm gonna do my 2.4, the tracer, and the new mold. Just to see that cup. I'm what? That, that just took me by surprise right there. Wow. I love this color. I don't mean it's gonna catch fish on, you know, but my gosh, that's a bad color. Man, I've been laminating that with, oh, boy, I'm gonna have to do some. I'm gonna have to do some stuff here. Everything's pretty cold. Pretty cold, we'll see how everything shoots. We're at 317. I'm gonna shoot it a little bit warmer just cause you know, it's so cold. In here. That, that is freaking, it almost has like a blue and a green hot. My God. How have I had that just sitting over there? I wish I'd have made up more of it now. It's definitely getting made in my 2.4. Oh, come on now, Toby. Everything's so cold. I wanna see if we can melt that and get enough to do that little a little mo new mold, duh. I didn't shoot it. In time. Let's take this out. Bro, that color is just pimping, man. It's just a color I've never seen before. And I know I grabbed it when I grabbed, uh, like I said, when the stuff with uh, MF, you never know what's going on, what, what, you know. I grabbed the dark watermelon. That is my baby. One day I may shoot it for y'all, but. So I grabbed me a few bottles, and uh, so if you couldn't get none, I'm the reason, probably. But, sorry, not sorry at the same time. Man, this is just, I mean, it's different. I like different. I always like a little different. You know, don't get me wrong. You're always going to have your... Uh, your fish catching colors, your uh, gr green pumpkin watermelons, like, yeah. But for crappy, trout, um, I'm gonna get all this I can, because I didn't, I didn't make up much plastic. I was like, eh, I don't know what that color's gonna look like. So I'm melting all that back down. Come here, I want all of you. So I have enough to suck up. That's a little bitty mold, I, I don't need much. Huh. Almost had me speechless, bro. But do these little baits here, a little, like I said, that's gonna be a cool little bait. Uh, like I said, I like different stuff. I can probably catch some crappy with it or some uh, trout during certain times of the year. Mm, boy, I'm gonna like it. It's a little bit of mold. Prices I suck at, engraves bait molds. Engraves.com, that's where that one came from. The three and a half inch tracer, of course, is by Angling AI, I'll show you that. And the 2.4 is from Bass Tackle that I always shoot because I'm known for crappy baits. Crappy baits, not crappy baits, like they suck, but you know what I mean. I'm 
Come on now, I need enough to shoot that one little baby mold. That's all. That color is amazing, bro. Bro and bro ets or sisters, boys, girls, who have sorry if I'm leaving anybody out, but I'm just almost in shock of that color. Like I said, I wasn't expecting much. If you look at like even when I took this top off, it still looks orangish. Like I can see the yellow and some like a little highlight, but that's why I just took the cap off. I didn't know what I was expecting. I was mainly going to see what color I, you know, if it was different than like just a fluorescent orange or whatever. But man, that is a bad color. That's going to be awesome. Man. Mm. I bet Spotted Bass will wear this thing. They, here, they seem to love crazy colors. So, Almost like a striker. A lot of chartreuse is, uh, like I said, that emerald green with that very bright chartreuse flake I use. They love that color. And I think they're going to love this one, man. The highlight in it is what Ah, I, I'm almost at a loss. That, huh, wow. And it also, it looks like scrambled eggs, but with a green highlight. Pretty badass. So let's cool her down a little bit. We're going to shoot that Graves mold. Uh, of course, these are aluminum. That's the high temp resin. You can still shoot it, you know, at the top end of the spectrum. You just have to shoot it a little softer. Like I said before, I don't like a lot of pressure, but I, I don't get flashing out of them. I think if you yank on it real hard, you might, but I just really, really push hard. Man, I am told, I hope the camera puts this, that's why I was mad earlier about the uh, disco shad that I made. Because you can't really see the flake. Or that disco violet, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it has made me so mad today that we'll go ahead and take a break. I had to go outside, have a cigarette, calm down. Like I said, that stuff is just hard to work with, man. You only need very little plastic. It's just a little four cavity mold, what it probably two inches long, maybe. Shoot it like normal. Top her off a little bit. I'm freaking loving this color, dude. It's not gonna show as much on that silver, but uh, oh my gosh. I may have found a new, definitely a color for the crappie. Like I said, just something a little different. Oh my God, I almost want to laminate that over a black. Like put this on top. I know it's vice versa how you normally do it with your lighter color on bottom, but I would love to see that with like a dark underneath, maybe even just green pumpkin. Just something to bring that out. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm at a loss for words almost. I mean, it's just, it's awesome color. And it's been sitting there. Oh well. Let's do a 2.4 first and then we'll go to that uh, tracer. But uh, now I wish I'd have maybe a bigger bait just to see how it looks. See if it shows better in a bigger bait. Wow. I'm amazed. I almost wanted to add more highlight to that too. I bet that would be. Mm. Oh my gosh, it just gives a whole different. Wow, I hope this shows up. All right, light, I can tell you're in the wrong angle. Let's try this way. Is it picking up that highlight at all for y'all? My God, it is like a bright. All right, you got to go. Sorry, buddy. Go. There you go. Take off. Oh my God, I'm gonna put these molds up or together. I'll be knocking stuff over. 
Oh, come on. My gosh, bro. Look at that. See how I say it's got that green highlight to it? I am more than impressed with that color. Like I said, it's going to be something just a little different from everybody throwing chartreuse. Or fluorescent chartreuse. A lot of my guys are throwing that now, but on clearer wise of water. Look at that, man. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. Man, when I've got it down at an angle, oh, I wish, I wonder if it'll do it. Oh, that highlight is just, I mean, that's an awesome color. Now it's made, now I wish I took the time, I don't want to have it a 40 minute video, but now I want to like add a drop of black and laminate it. Let me know if y'all think in the comments if you think I need to laminate that or not. Golly, man. That is a great color. It's different. So, I mean, like I said, I like different. I like different in baits sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I still fish the old, old school, and you, you know, usual curly tails and the finesse worms, you know, all the time. But I am always looking for something that's just a little bit different. And that color is totally different, man. Oh my, I gotta get off of that. That's, wow. Hmm. Made my day, especially after that freaking disco shed issue I had earlier, or the violet, whatever the freak it's called. This crap. Like I said, when it works, it works great. When it don't, I wanna just, oh, I wanna chunk it. It makes me so mad. That's pretty bad when a flake can ruin your day. Right, let's see if it shows better in this. I mean, it doesn't have to show better for me because I'm looking at it. I mean, freaking. Okay, buddy. You're, you're not helping me out today. Cover, cover. Cover, concealment. Bro, that is just, I mean, it's just a little different from anything I think I've ever, put it down, try to get out of that light some, than I've ever used. All right, buddy, you're on my lap. Oh, oh I'm about to break something accidentally. Ah, uh, but now I'm not really gonna get the highlights. Oh my gosh. Bro, I wish y'all could see this better. And from that, and I guarantee that's why I probably haven't shot that thing before. I thought it was just going to be like a an off orange or something. No, that is like a, I can't even explain it. Fluorescent chartreuse with an attitude with like an orange tint. And that green highlight. Oh, I wish y'all could see. Let me try, try this crap again. Uh, maybe it's too big. I don't know. It's showing better in the little one, wasn't it? It has a green highlight, man. That is freaking. I'm in love, dude. Wow, I'm in love. Check out that new one by Mr. Graves. Mr. Graves at Engrave Bait Mode with Engraves.com. I think I'm pushing these on y'all. I like these baits. I like the price point. Especially for stuff that I'm wanting to play with, learn, try new baits before I sink a ton of money into an aluminum mold. These are great, bro. Oh, you can get that green highlight, I think, now. With that gray backing. Or whatever. Yeah, it's gray. It's like a bright yellow, but has that green highlight. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Like I said, it's just a color I haven't seen. Hmm. I want to laminate it now. God, I don't want to... Well, night, almost 20 minutes in... 
I won't make no 40 minutes. Like I said, you're just gonna have to skip through and crap, so. Give me an idea, what do you think I should laminate this with? I really want to put that over a black. I know it would be total opposite. I, I know most of the time you want your lighter colors on bottom, but I almost want to laminate that with a black. Or a green pumpkin. Just have this on top of it where you'd have the dark underneath it and it would show that highlight even better. Even though I'm not showing it real well, but it wasn't a mold real good, wasn't it? Let me put it back on that gray. My God, look at that. Let me know if it's coming through. I don't know if it is or not. Let's put some other baits on it too. Let me grab the bigger mold. Let's do that. Duh. Let's see the name on that one. Got another new one too, but uh, I ain't got time today, but we're gonna show you this mold as well. Oh my gosh, bro. It, I'm loving this color. Like I said, it's just different from anything I've ever seen. And I just grabbed it. I was like, huh, let's see what that is. I remember it when I ordered it. But I had it over there in a bag with, uh, you know, my other, my extra dark watermelons and stuff that I had gotten just to stock up on. God, I love that color. Let me know what y'all think. What should we laminate it with? What kind of flake? Oh my gosh. I want Disco would probably set that off or just a silver. Mmm. I really I, I'm I'm gonna fish these before long. And I'm definitely gonna try these on trout and for crappy. Look at that little grub. Or Helgamite or it could be whatever you want it to be, really. Fish don't care. What you call it. Um, the top of worm, something like you know, something like that. But this green highlight, bro, is just I wish it was coming through the way I'm seeing it right now. That is a nice color. Now, I don't usually freak out about colors because I've got nine million colors over here and I've made all kind of craziness just get in here and trying to make up a cut, you know. Oh, it's bad. Golly, tell me what you think, man. Tell me what we should laminate that with. Holy cow. I hope I can get good photos of it, too. So, anyway, there's our new mold by Mr. Graves. Like I said, he's open for business. He had to move and uh, set his shop up. He's open for business. Something I, I, you know, I like these little things. I, I can catch whatever on those. I love these little baits like this, especially if I go up to the mountains to catch trout. Bam. I'm definitely going to crappy fish them. Crappy, crappy, whatever you want to call it. So, thanks again, Mr. Graves. Engraves Bait Mold. Engraves.com is where I get them at. Uh, I would say I'd put it all in the link in the blue. I don't know how to do all that. So, it has nothing to do with me other than uh, I like the price point on the molds for something that I'm going to play with to learn about first and all that good stuff. So, hey, I appreciate y'all being here. If I don't see y'all before Thanksgiving, I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. And, uh, I'm sorry, I just can't. I must have like ADD. Oh, squirrel, you know. Green highlight. Oh, charcoal. Breath. I can't. I am amazed by that color, man. Oh, my God. Ah, easily amused. Again, I'm sorry. Let me get back to what I was talking about. I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. I hope you get to spend time with your family and friends and loved ones. And uh, just enjoy yourself. Take a little time off. I'm going to have to work freaking retail at the at my sportsman's warehouse, which I love the little job. But, uh. Man, I don't shop Black Friday. I don't go out on Black Friday, but now I gotta work Black Friday. So, 
We'll see how that goes, because me and people, you know, I like most people. I never say hate towards people. But I hate this stuff. It gets on my nerves. Bad. Eight bits, I gotta try your stuff, because uh, I don't care how much it costs. It, it keeps me from having to deal with that and the awesomeness, the way they've been coming out. Mm. Again, y'all, happy Thanksgiving. If I don't see you, enjoy it. Eat that turkey, gain about 10 pounds, and have a good time. I appreciate y'all being here. Again, give me some ideas, man, what you think I should laminate that with. That will be awesome, especially in a triple. Like this on top and bottom and have like black in the middle. <laughs> I got so many ideas in my head now. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you watching. Happy Thanksgiving coming up before ADD Squirrel hits me again. And let's go catch some fish. We'll see.